Hey, my cuties and beauties, how are you guys? So today's nail set is all about orange glitter glass nails. I know that's a lot, but I was out and about today and I stopped by Hobby Lobby because I said, you know, I've been wanting a new brush. So I was like, let me go see what they have, try it out and see if that'll help me with some of the issues I'm experiencing with the lumps and bumps when I'm applying my Build-A-Gel. So that one that you see next to the fan brush is what I'm going to pull out of this kit. It was only $6.99 and I got a ton of brushes. They had like different varieties in different packs. So I'm not sure how much was in this pack. I wanna say it was like four, but I'm gonna use that brush today. It's a size six. Um, I did pick the rose gold because I absolutely love purple and rose gold together and I wanted to have some rose gold brushes. Um, it didn't have any like filament or anything on the bristle so that's the brush I'm going to use today. Not sure what I'm going to do with the other brushes that came with it but I'll le at least I'll have it you know in the future if my kids have any art stuff that you know they need to do but yeah these brushes $6.99 at Hobby Lobby and I used my 40% coupon code. So I was happy about, you know, picking up that set of brushes. This kit I got at Walmart, I think it was $9.44. And I really like this one opposed to the one that I showed you guys in a couple videos back because of these stackable containers. So all of the loose foils and the Fimo pieces and the loose crystals that I had, um, the opal crystals that I recently purchased, I put them in this. I feel like I can put these in my nail table whenever I get it and still be able to use the container for something else. So I'm happy that I was able to get these stackable containers. Um, I may even be able to stack the other ones that I have. I'm gonna try it out and see, you know, if it works. Um, but yeah, got this for $9.44, which I really feel like is a reasonable price. It was 26 or 28 containers that came with this. So yeah, that's the one that I got before. I'm gonna try to stack these and see if I can. But the color that I was looking for was a really iridescent orange color. So I'm mixing in the foil pieces, some hollow glitter, and my orange um, fine glitter in order to make that beautiful pigmented orange that you guys are gonna see. Um, yeah, this, it was getting on my nerves trying to shake out these chunky hollows. So I just popped the top open, poured some out, and I was able to get that color mixture that I was looking for. So today's set is all going to be done with that clear IBD gel. Y'all, the clarity is going to blow y'all mind when y'all see it. But this is my previous set that I did with the Mia Secret Builder Gel and my nail foil kit that I had purchased from Amazon. So if y'all want to see that, I'll put it in the card so y'all can go check it out and, you know, tell me what you guys think about this set. And, you know, if you're going to be able to accomplish the same set as well, because it was super easy to do. So I am just starting off with my bare naked nails, which is pretty much my McCart tips and my Kiss Active tips. And I'm gonna get that one slip layer down first before I start going in with this number six brush that I got from Hobby Lobby that I told y'all about. So did this brush work for me? Yes or no? I don't, okay. I know you're gonna need certain brushes be it for hard gel or soft gel there is a difference there's hard gel you can't easily soak that off with acetone and the builder gels which are the soft gels you can soak those off like this ibd gel it is a soak off um i would have to say is more so the technique that's causing me to get the lumps and bumps that i'm getting and not really the brush I feel as though once I master that, you know, I am being honest, you know, I'm struggling with not getting those lumps and bumps. I am struggling with creating the apex in the right spot, the upper arch. I am struggling with trying to figure out this gel, but I'm not discouraged. <laughs> so don't, you know, take me, take my honesty as discouragement 
but I am gonna keep practicing and learning. So I really don't think that my brush is my issue. Um, I think it's the technique that, you know, I have to continue to practice and the skills that I have to continue to, you know, hone and, you know, nurture and mature. So basically I am going to continue. <laughs> I am not going to stop because I am loving the clarity of this IBD gel. I am loving the Mia secret gel, how that feels, the consistency. I'm loving the artwork I'm able to create with these nail sets using builder gel. So this is what you guys are going to be seeing me use for a while. So after getting that first layer down and curing that, that sticky layer is what I'm using to adhere these um, gel pieces, these glitter pieces, I'm sorry. I could have just poured them onto the nails. My apologies, my girls just walked in. But I could have poured it onto the nails, but for some reason I didn't. Um, I felt like I probably wouldn't have been able to catch those bigger pieces that I wanted. So I just took my time and just placed it on there. I really wasn't too sure about what I wanted to do with this set, but it's okay because, you know, eventually you guys are going to see that my creative juices started flowing and I figured out what I wanted to do with the other nails. Um, but one thing I would say in addition to, you know, the skill of using gel um, with this brush, I felt like the bristles were too soft and I probably... <laughs> I'm probably gonna go back to the other brush that I was using because I felt like I was gonna break these bristles. But when I was applying this layer on top of the glitters, even though I cured the glitters, I was still having those chunkier pieces moving around. So I did put some um, nail glue, I think it's the Model Ones um, brand that I bought in my Amazon cart. So hopefully that'll help with, you know, making sure my glitters and my female pieces and things like that stay on the nail. So when I'm encapsulating, nothing moves. You know, if you guys have experiences or know of any other way that I can, you know, apply the product, the glitters, the chunkier pieces of mylar and they not move, just let me know. If the model wants nail glue is gonna work, then I'm already a step ahead. So I'm just gonna continue to lay this on um, product. I learned a lot, like I said, from Young Nail School. So I'm able to pick up the product and it stays on one side of the brush and I'm able to apply it to the nail, but not without the lumps and bumps. However, their techniques, you know, that they taught me and the other, you know, people that I'm watching and researching and learning from, it's helping. So it's just a matter of me, you know, getting it right. So I'm going to go in and continue to lay that layer on the top, go back in, fill in any areas where I feel like I needed, you know, some more product where it was a little bit too flat, get my apex where it needs to be. Like right here, you can see some of the ridges and the bumps I'm talking about. I'm just going to cure that for 60 seconds and then come back and fill in the areas that I feel looks a little flat or has like a little bump to create the, the apex and strength and all that stuff where I need it to be. So after flipping that nail and getting the product to move where I wanted it to be, I just had to go back in and continue to create the upper arch and um, just fill in a little bit towards the apex. You see me just putting a little bit and dragging it all the way down to the end. I'm gonna flip it over, twist the nail from side to side so that product can settle into place. And um, all in all, I am really enjoying using Builder Gel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you know you will subscribe after looking at my video. I hope that you will return because there's so many more fun videos that I have in store for you guys. And as I'm learning, if you're trying to learn about nails, you'll get to learn with me and see me grow and stuff like that on my nail journey. Um, but I did want to mention, you know, I am not a professional. This is all you know, my enjoyment and things that I like to do. I love doing nails and creating beautiful designs like that one you see over there in the top left corner. I got the video in the cards, so go check it out. But 
I'm gonna get all of those placed into the lamp and then I decided to do a French nail on the two in the middle just to kind of practice, you know, build in that smile line. But then I decided to just do only one because I felt like, you know, I was getting pretty good at doing a smile line. And again, the consistency between the Mia Secret Builder Gel and the IBD are completely different. So once I got the smile line in the general area that I wanted it, I went in with my clean brush and kind of cleaned up around the smile line, popped that in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then I came back out and added another layer to create that wall. And you guys will see exactly how I did that in a second. So y'all saw that pushing motion, right? So basically what I was doing was just pushing the product towards where I created my border already. And then I'm just swiping out the rest of it towards the cuticle. So I'm not creating extra bulk on the cuticle. And then I'm gonna go in and clean it up again, pop it in the lamp, and I'm gonna apply my glitter to the remainder of the nail to get that beautiful orange glassy look going on, just like the other nails. So one thing I didn't do on this nail that I wish I would have done was refine that smile line by sharpening it up a little bit and taking down some of the bulk on the top because I was having to do too much compensation to get the, get a seamless you know nail from cuticle to free edge um, it worked out in the end you know once I filed down and everything else it wasn't super thick because I, I made sure to um, you know get the product settled where it needed to settle, cure, come back out, add, go back again, cure, come back out, add more. Um, but with the IBD Builder Gel, it is very, very sticky, more sticky than poly gel. So just be sure to clean that off before you go into filing and shaping. And here I'm doing a final cleanup before I get ready to start putting that top coat and see that clear, see-through, glassy look on these nails. So one thing I am loving is how the light is catching this orange and those iridescent pieces that I put in there. It was just so pretty. It was giving me these yellow shimmery green type looks. I know y'all can see it, but in a few short seconds, you guys are going to see how much better this is going to look with some top coat. Isn't it just so satisfying when you put that top coat on that nail and you see those glitters just start to just come through. Oh my gosh, these nails are so beautiful. I had a lot of fun doing it, even though it was trying and challenging, you know, still trying to master the skill of using builder gel, but putting that top coat on and then at the bottom and you could just see your vision come through with how clear you guys can literally see my finger under these nails it is so clear and that's one thing that i love about the builder gel this ibd gel and i would not stop using it because i'm getting those clear glassy nails that i wanted when i was using poly gel and it was just not working out for some reason but yeah i didn't want to go in with any bling on this set because i wanted the glitters to shine for themselves so that's why i mean i probably could have put some um bling on this one but i didn't want to i just thought it was pretty by itself so i want to thank you guys for watching my videos thank you for my returning you know loyal subscribers thank you for sharing my videos commenting encouraging me giving me support and as always continue to watch till the end you will see how beautiful these nails look outside and i'll most definitely talk to you in my next one bye